the transformational retreat with Jennifer 10 x my life this time. The retreat increased my confidence because there was such a cohesiveness in the group that I was free to be me at my highest level. So the first night I decide I'm going to show my transformational willingness and I tell everybody I'm there to embrace my sensuality and I wanted to learn to shimmy. So I go to breakfast the next day. When I walk in, all the women shimmy when I come in. The rest of the trip, every time they saw me, they would they would shake their little boobs and, <laughs> and give me a salute. The retreat helped me get more comfortable in my own skin. Just the amount of time that we spent dancing and moving and being filled with this energetic music. I mean, we laughed, we cried, we danced, we jumped, we twirled, we swam, we jumped in waters, and we just felt supported and loved by each other. Every opportunity was a chance to heal. From floating down the mangrove is like a baptism. It's an opportunity to, to release all, all of the things you want to shake off into that beautiful, clean water that, that's carrying you down. And then there's a day that you do the uh, Temescal, where that's where you go in and they bring in the hot rocks and close the door and you go through this tribal ritual of the Mayan culture. With a, with a shaman singing and, and chanting and, and letting out sounds. And it's such a spectacular, intimate moment for self-intimacy, but group intimacy too. Feeling more sensual as a woman is really about allowing and just not being afraid to be seen moving. That's the part I had shut down was I didn't want to attract attention. I didn't want to be noticed because no one was ever gonna love me. So why would I want to have to push them away? Well, I feel better in my body because I feel more confident in my femininity. But I'm I'm allowing myself to nurture myself, to be in love with myself in a way that lets me be kind to my body. Because every time I open a new element of it, it just fills my soul with this new connection to spirit. I feel like I'm going through spiritual doors. My biggest breakthrough was at the cenote. I had to confront some fears during this um Thing. And I have a lot of fear in the water. I'm not a very good swimmer. And I had some experiences in the ocean and in the cenote that were, that I felt insecure in. All, there's all this beautiful greenery growing and there's a waterfall that falls into it. And there's people from all over, not just our group, but they're, they're swimming, but they're coming into the middle of it and jumping off. And I thought, oh, I want to do that. And I didn't know I was going to be afraid. And I got up to the edge of it and I just literally couldn't jump. And there's all these people down there cheering me on. And every time I go to jump, my legs just will not release me. And I'm feeling so scared. And there was a uh, Luke, he was uh, one of the males that were there to assist us. He called me back and he said, let's reset for a minute, Cindy. And he said, listen, all I want you to do, we breathe. And he said, I just want you to walk and just keep walking. Don't stop and jump. Just walk off the edge like the next step. So I took my breaths and I did it. And what I didn't know is the very next day, that whole experience of being up there and knee shaking and doing it, you feel very relieved that you could take a step even when you're so afraid. Just knowing I can take quantum leaps. It made the knees stop shaking as soon as I said yes to it. I love you so much. Thank you for, for bringing me on this journey.